Today is not a beautiful day for flying down here in Florida land. We're right now on board the Cessna 172, somewhere near Okla, Florida. Let's go ahead and take off to it. There we go, perfect. What a nice stable flight right here. You know, everything is looking great until it isn't. I mean, for example, suddenly we have an engine failure. You can see your engine is dead, indeed. So we have to look out for a fuel to do an emergency landing. Hmm. Oh yeah, there you go. There is runway down there. It appears to be closed. It's got some X markings on it. But I'm sure this will be plenty of landing space for our little Cessna 172. Let's go ahead and just nicely glide down there. All right, come on. Do it, come on. Come on, you can do it. All right, let's go down. All right, let's stop. Oh, all right, there you go. That's been a touchdown, and we're able to stop here on this runway. What an emergency landing on a quite mysterious runway. I mean, check this out. I mean, how long is this? Below 200 meters for sure. What is this for? To find out, we shall take a look at Google Maps. Here is Okla, Florida, where we can find here at the Florida Horse Park, the place where we landed at. Hmm, Okla Flying Model Club. Yes, it is. Everybody, we just landed on an RC runway. There's tons of RC runways like this all around the world. I mean, this one is only like 200 meters long, around 600 feet. Okla Flying Model Club, that's so cool. Yes, don't we love to watch air shows like like this. This is here at Okla Flying Model Club, our 200 meter long runway. Here, this is actually quite a successful takeoff right there. Uh, I like to see that, but I like to see even more when there's plane crashes. There's none from this airfield I could find. They have a really nice, cool aircraft. You can fly here to Okla Flying Club like this uh, warbird right there. But I was wondering about this. I mean, could you fly any big planes here too? I mean, we're on water, it's a Cessna 172. We were able to land beautifully. We might be able to turn that engine back on like that. And let's see if we can maybe try to, you know, take off again. All right, come on, let's do it. Full power. All right, only 200 meters of long runway. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a takeoff. That was just fine. I think the biggest problem are the trees though. We are not able to pass those at all, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, you know what? You know, if the trees were uncrashable, there you go. We would still be able to make it. Uh, seriously, though, what kind of real plane can fly on an RC kind of runway? I mean, it is clear. Ultralight planes like this, but maybe this Cubs, this is Savage Cubs. This will be no issues taking off this plane from this airport. Although very, very tall runway, shorter than the shortest runways in the world at 200 meters. I mean, you know, the shortest commercial runway is 400. You're able to take off only the smallest of airplanes, but there we go. This real Savage Cub was able to take off just fine. I mean, we all know our beloved Twin Otter Plane. This thing can fly anywhere. You know, anywhere you want it to go, it can go. It's got 12 people that can sit. We've been on board this airplane and flew to the shortest runway in the world. I don't see any issues, you know, flying the Twin Otter here at all. I swear to you, this will definitely work. I mean, this is an airliner, but surely takeoff will work. There you go. We didn't even need that full runway. We might be very, very low and kind of slow, but we can take off after gaining enough speed. That's just worked Fine, I'd like to see that. You might have to trim down some trees, but yes, you could operate planes off of a RC runway. But let's maybe fly the bigger brother of the Twin Otter here. Maybe the Dash 7 that we tried last week. Now that's what I'm talking about. This plane uh, might need a bit of a longer runway, but this plane, of course, is very famous for not needing a long runway. I mean, we know it for being operative at, you know, Cool Chevelle Airport, for example. We were able to land it at incredible places. What? All right, so this runway is, what is it, 800 feet long. And we use 400 of it, which officially, it makes this plane stop at around 100 meters. Maybe also an RC runway. How about that? All right. Now, if you've wondered why there are actual yellow crosses here on this fake runway, it's obviously to differentiate it from real airport runways. Otherwise, you might have the VR traffic that genuinely tries to land here because it thinks this is another airport. To make clear, this is not an actual airport. It has to have these yellow crosses. Now, let's go ahead and try to see if we can land it. You can do it. Yeah. Yes! Yes! 
That was absolutely beautiful. This plane stopped in no time whatsoever. We're able to stop a 54-seater airliner here. The Dash 7 truly is incredible. We've got this absolutely amazing RC runway here. We might be able to take off here as well. This will be the actual challenge. Come on, let's do this now. Prepare for this. Let's go for power on these engines. There we go. They're spooling up still. That's what I'm looking for. Good. The flaps are now set to zero. Let's go ahead and release the brakes in 3, 2, 1 now while putting the flaps down all the way. Nice. Just like that. This will be the perfect takeoff. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can't. Can't do it. But I can fly off a... You know what? Takeoff should be a bit of an issue. But landing works fine. All right. We'll take right into the... <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not gone right. Come on. We might be able to try... Maybe let's take off a real jet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. Oh, yeah. This thing's got really quick acceleration. This might actually just work. We might have to take a little bit of that grass, too. But that's fine. Because we're able to take off there. Just get above these trees. Yeah, cut them through. There we go. That's kind of work. You have to say that. That's uh, perfect. Even the landing is working, kind of. All right, this, uh, this is quite chaotic. But you can see RC Flying Club runways are, you know, most of the time quite usable, even though this is definitely a bigger one. But I do encourage you, especially if you do a lot of VFR flying, to kind of look out always. We're right now above the skies of Chicago, where there's another uh, RC flying field right there. Model aircraft field. Somewhere in a park here in Naperville, near Chicago. Let's see if we're able to actually uh, land this twin otter there. This might be a bit of a challenge, as this thing, as far as I remember, only has an 80 meter long runway. What is that? 200 feet. A whole lot shorter. Let's see if we're able to land there. All right, we definitely overran into the grass. That hasn't gone well. What a dumb little airframe. I mean, we were very, very fast. We might be able to try this again. It was a great land. We did really try our best. I don't see a plane that can take off here. <laughs> Although this very Swiss plane should be able to manage. This is a PC-6. It's got a triple prop engine. One performs just fine here, even in airports like this. Come on. There you go. I have high trust in you. Don't let me down. Oh, it's letting me down. Yeah, hope is lost if even the PC states can properly fly there. Great. So my friends of RC plane flying, this definitely gives me inspiration to go to one of these other fields and maybe witness a crash or two. So what I think you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.